wanted a square. Squares are efficient. Paul wanted a trapezoid. I felt it would be more inviting. Jill just wanted something that would work. Clark has made a lot of things out of wood. When he was six, he made a lumberjack. When he was 15, he made a bow saw. When he was 18, he made this thing. And recently, he made a crate. Paul turned it into a basket, and Jill loved it. So I came into work one day, I'm the bookkeeper here at Sprout, and I saw this thing that Paul had been working on, and I wanted it instantly. The look just grabbed me. It's got this beautiful wood grain, and it's modern but classy at the same time. And when I picked it up, you could tell instantly it was sturdy. They're made out of five-ply Baltic birch. We don't use this particle board crap. So the small basket is perfect for all kinds of things. Mail, keys, all those little things you don't know where they need to go, they can go in here. So the medium size is perfect for the cubbies in our toy room. So many toys can fit in here. Also, my kids, they empty out their backpacks every day and they leave their homework and papers everywhere. And this is perfect for that. Ooh, the large. I would use this in my laundry room to put my cleaning stuff in because I like to have a basket with all my cleaning stuff in as I go to each of my different bathrooms and this would be perfect for that. I would use the extra large for all my blankets. I have blankets in three different places in my house and I have throws and comforters and they're just big. I would put the blankets in there and just have it next to my couch as a piece. And the stacking cube, I think Clark will like this one. Yeah, I just put whatever I want in it and then stack it and then stack another one. So you will twist the bottom two pieces together. Then you'll weave it all the way to the top. You'll place the bottom in, snap it in, and then you're done. They have smooth rounded edges that won't scratch your floor or your furniture. And they're environmentally friendly using sustainable wood and have a safe, no VOC finish that won't pollute the air in your home.
My life has been all about climbing and competing, constantly trying to progress. And to measure progression has always been difficult. It would be nice to know if the training you do is really paying off or if you should do something different. And that is why I challenged Tindek to come up with a new device that allowed you to track progression in a more scientific yet relevant way. As an engineer and a climber, you're always up to new challenges. So we started exploring how to measure climbing strength in a reliable way. And after going through a number of iterations, we finally came up with a progressor, a really compact unit that is able to measure the load applied to any free hanging training device. For example, to measure peak force, simply attach one training ring to the progressor and connect it to your phone. The progressor starts recording and tells you the highest load applied over 5 seconds. And the same way you can measure endurance and rate of force development. And if you ever wondered how far you are from doing that one arm pull up, the progressor will give you the exact answer. We also designed our own training grips that work perfectly with the progressor. The V-rings. The V-rings are compact and portable, yet they offer a variety of different holds. I use them both to warm up and for training, and even for sling training, which can also be a good way to warm up different body parts. It allows me to warm up the exact same way no matter where I go, and train my fingers no matter where I am. The V-rings have a specific pocket intended to use for tests with the progressor, to let you measure your own strength and compare it to others. We are proud of manufacturing our products in Norway. Local production makes it possible for us to be really hands-on in the manufacturing process and in that way we can make sure to deliver the premium quality we want our customers to receive. We truly believe the Progressor and V-Rings will add another dimension to climbing related training. We've all been there. You need to secure some work pieces together. So you get a clamp, hold them in place, only to find out that the head of the upper jaw prevents you from moving forward. Hi, my name's Andrew, and if you're like me, you've encountered this problem many times before. So what do you do? Typically, you've just got three options. Your first option is that you could use glue, wait for it to dry, then once it cures, add a fastener but you give up any chance of taking your project cleanly apart. Your second option is that you could hold the piece with one hand, the drill with the other, and hope you don't move around too much while you awkwardly try to fasten them together. But doing so gives up the use of both hands and accuracy. Your third option is that you could take a clamp, use it on the very edge of your workpiece, and hope it's strong enough to keep it together until you apply a fastener. But doing so sacrifices hold and accuracy. But nothing that doesn't make you give up some combination of hold, accuracy and well, both hands. Until now, introducing the Andrew Clamp. The Andrew Clamp is a new patent pending clamp design which offers ample clearance for your favourite fasteners, without sacrificing holding strength or accuracy. In fact, the Andrew Clamp offers an unparalleled combination of hold and accessibility. And look, both hands. The Andrew clamp provides intuitive solutions to a vast array of obstacles that can't be achieved with the current marketplace range of clamps. 